So you would think that most healthcare workers, especially uh, doctors, you know, doctors are we're out there to save lives, you know, that's why I went to med school, et cetera, this is why I became a nurse or whatever it is. And a lot of these people just want you to die. <laughs> I mean, it's really sad to see that a, a lot of these, you see a lot of these healthcare workers and even doctors, we're gonna look at this video from a doctor says, doctor suggests that unvaccinated patients don't deserve ICU beds and should be denied other medical care. And it's like, well, hey, did you feel that way about all those ETO patients that are just like a revolving door for the hospital? What are all those people? I didn't feel like taking my meds. I didn't feel like taking my blood pressure medication. I didn't feel like going to dialysis this week. And then they come in shorter breath. What about all those obese people that come into the hospital? With complications, diabetes, coronary artery disease, etc. Do you do you do you tell them that they shouldn't have access to medical care because their choices impact the medical care system? But we're gonna to listen to this doctor and she and see what she has to say. Oh, guys, I am just fuming over the fact that our health care system has collapsed. I truly hope that in Alberta, if someone comes into the ICU and they are unvaccinated for any reason other than a medical exemption because of, of whatever reasons they've been given, um, and if there's a 90-year-old who comes in who's vaccinated and a 20-year-old that comes in that's unvaccinated for no reason other than their arrogance and ignorance, I truly hope that the bed goes to the 90-year-old. I do not know why in any world that has any justice we are going to lose people who've done their civil duty, who have actually gotten vaccinated to try to protect people regardless of their age. We would lose them over the people who couldn't give a shit about anyone but themselves. And literally we're laughing at the fact that the, the pro-vaxxers were going so crazy over this. Sure, you know what then? You get sick with anything. I don't even care if it's not COVID related. You don't deserve an ICU bed. We're at that point. Man, I am pissed. Oh. Well done, Alberta. I hope this is reflected in the election. And, and these are the people that you go to these doctors and you're like, thank you for everything that you do. You, you know, you, you're doing God's work, etc. And these people are praying for your downfall. Now, of course, she was talking about young 20 year olds. And of course, when you look at the statistics about, you know, are 20 year olds at risk, etc. Most of these people, like you look at the statistics, like almost nobody under 40 makes it their way into the hospital related to C-19. Of course, they would imagine, they would have you believe that there are all these young people that are just lining up in hospital beds, but it's not the case. You can just easily look at, this, look at the statistics. But this really goes to the mindset of many of these people that are literally mesmerized by the cult, the cult of the COVIDian. And this is the mindset that they have. It's a very hateful spirit. And you gotta treat these people accordingly you can't be nice with these people you, you literally have to go scorched earth why because these people pray for your downfall as she said even i don't care what it is that brings you into the hospital if you're an unvaxxed you basically deserve to die you don't deserve health care especially not if you're in a critically ill situation you basically deserve to die especially if there's a 90 year old or an 80 year old and if they made the decision to take the vax well then you should be left out there to die and this is a this is a supposedly a doctor, right? You know, a lot of these people are, are narcissists, especially when it comes to, to surgery. A lot of these individuals are just narcissists, and it shows. You see, I see a lot of these healthcare workers, overwhelmingly obviously women, because most most medical doctors, nurses, respiratory therapists, etc. Most of the field is glutted with women. And this is what you would imagine that women are the more compassionate, you know, the my body, my choice, etc. You would imagine that these individuals are would be more compassionate. It's like, nope, these are the least ethical people that you want in charge of your health care. This is this is what this is basically uh, basically where some of the comments are actually kind of funny when you listen to them. Where the person's like a 20 year old requiring an ICU bed. And it's like, yeah, maybe if the person got into an accident or something. And then she goes, this person goes on to say, actually, if you were vaccinated, then wouldn't, you, you wouldn't need an ICU bed, am I right? If you're, since you're protected. <laughs> and this one, of course, got the most likes. And of course, but this is basically where we're at. You got a lot of, you know, I had posted a very long time ago prior to America, uh, prior to America even having cases and I posted on my old Twitter my first Twitter got banned 
and I had posted on Twitter, I was like, the C-19 is really going to expose Americans and their values. And it's because a lot of the things that, a lot of the Christian principles, freedom, solidarity, um, that basically unified the nation had been eroded for quite some time. And that's basically the only thing that C-19 has basically been done. It's been utilized. Uh, this is what communism is. It's basically what they, utilize, what they do to nations when they're trying to pit people against people. They're trying to cause rifts in the nation and make inroads and make inroads in communities. And this is basically what they've been doing. And a lot of these people have absolutely no shame about posting about posting this sort of uh, negativity is basically you know disgusting to even suggest that a doctor would think this way but they feel very comfortable posting this stuff online and that's why I say when you when you deal with these people you have to deal with them from the standpoint that these individuals hate you because you don't conform and because you don't conform the only thing that they have left for you is hate and they post it on social media so that you can see it day after day from the government to the mainstream media to many of the big businesses to a lot of the healthcare workers that you were out there applauding for and they're like throw these people in the camp they should tie them down and force vaccines and i would talk to my colleagues and i'd be like what happened to right to refuse that's like one of the six rights or seven rights or eight rights depending upon the hospital it's like that's one of the rights like we don't if the person doesn't want it you can't can't force them but again when push comes to shove don't look at these people just because of the position that they're in, that you think that they're a nice person, that they're a saint, that they have your best interests at heart. Some of these people just want to see you die, and that's a fact, and this proves it. You treat these people accordingly. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. I'll check you out next time. Of course, feel free to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Thank you.